Okay, I'm standing across the street from the entrance. So there's the entrance to the to the units. Okay, I wanted to show you what's across the street, which is a strip center. I mean, this neighborhood, it's not a bad neighborhood. It's not a great neighborhood. It's kind of in the middle. But you've got this really long strip center. It's directly across the street. closer look at the strip center. Okay, this is the pool area. These are the residents. Say hi, wave. <laughs> I'm just a real estate agent. I'm shooting it for somebody that's thinking about buying a unit here. That's part of the units back there. Looks well maintained, the pool looks good. Okay, here's the front door, I'm just gonna do a 360. And there's down the hall. There's the next building in the unit. You have covered parking. The other, down the other home. It's kind of funky because you got these windows that belong to the unit, and you got this door, and you got a little window, and then you got that second door, which is also yours, which I'll show you from the inside. So we're walking in the door. And here's the living room. This is a nice little unit. There is nothing that I can see that looks, there's the flooring that, that, you know, is out of whack or I don't see any stains on the ceiling or, or anything like that. So that's what you get when you look forehead into your, to your straight ahead. And then when you go to your left, here's the dining room. Okay, now the kitchen for some reason doesn't have any light. So it's going to be a little dark, but hopefully after my camera adjusts this, you can see this. Um, it's got a pantry there in the back. This is the stove that they were talking about. Probably needs to be replaced. And see, they got a microwave sitting here on top of the stove, but there's no place to put it. So probably what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take that stove out, put a new stove in, put take, the, take part of those... Uh, cabinets out and put an overhead microwave in because um, otherwise you got no place to put the microwave so there is a little remodel that does to be down there but that's not bad um, at this price especially it's not bad so I come back out of the living room and there's that second door I don't even know why it's there and then you have a window and there's the front door that I came in a second ago and then back around to the living room there's another view, that's the front door there on your right. The dining room. The kitchen behind that opening there. I'm not sure if this comes furnished or not. I'll have to go back and look at the paperwork, but that's a nice piece right there. And then the couches aren't bad. And you got a TV entertainment center here. I don't remember, like I said, whether this is unit is furnished or not, but I just saw that you did just in case. And that's back towards the front door. 
the dining room and then that second funky door is there. And the kitchen's on the other side of this wall right here. Okay, we're in the living room, we're going down to the hallway. And these doors on the left, there's some sliding glass doors here on the left for storage. And on the right, here's the, the bath, which looks in good shape. Tub. And we got a little that's funky. It's a medicine cabinet. It's like a six foot medicine cabinet. It's not very deep. See, it's only deep enough to hold, you know, those cotton swabs don't even fit on it. So it's a shallow, like a medicine cabinet, but instead of like just three, it's got, it all goes all the way down. I haven't seen that before. And then here's a, another look at the toilet. And you have overhead lighting. And then a medicine cabinet here. Lots of medicine cabinet space. Okay, I'm starting at the front door again so you have your orientation. There's, there's the living room that we've discussed. There's the kitchen through there. There's the dining room on the right. And if we come straight down this hallway, to the left right here is the, that's the, we already saw that, the, uh, storage area and the bathroom on the right we already saw and if you just keep going straight you come to the second bedroom this is not the master this is the second bedroom it's a good size I mean it's what's that maybe a super single I don't know what size that bed is but I mean it's you could put a double in here you can put a king in here you might not have room for both nightstands but see you've got some some space on the other side of this bed and then the the view is out to the grass below and the courtyard or the condo on the other side but you got some green space out there it's not terrible not a terrible view and then going back this way so that's bedroom number two oh, once again in case it's furnished I get the furniture that's cedar. Is that cedar? I don't know. It looks like cedar. I don't know if it's fake cedar or not. And then here's the bed. It's a very good sized closet for a second bedroom. I mean, it's good size for a second bedroom. This is great. Uh, cedar. And so you have quite a bit of space in the. See, that's a. Uh, three six that's probably seven eight foot deep that that closet I mean if you took out the built-in there I mean that that wall is probably seven foot back there so good size closet okay from the front door again walking through the living room past the storage on the left past the bathroom not going to go straight ahead because that's where the bedroom is where I seen and look at the size of this master which for a condo is, I think, pretty good size, especially in this price range. I mean, this, I'm going to make an estimate here of uh, three, six, nine. That's probably 27, 28 foot deep. I mean, he's got room in addition to that bed. That's probably a queen, though. I don't know if that's a king or a queen. He's got room for a desk here and still got some extra room for a couple extra feet. So this, uh, there ain't nothing wrong with this unit, guys. I mean, there's just, I mean, if there was, I'd tell you, but I, I mean, the ceilings are all good. They're all, uh, and then. Here's the master closet, which is also a good size, deep. I mean, it's not huge, but you have good space in that other closet too. 
this is probably yeah the, that other closet's probably deeper this looks like about six maybe six seven foot maybe a little bit deeper the other one is I don't know close but nothing wrong with this little condo guys that I can see okay last time from the front door immediately to the right it's a little dining room table you have a little window there that uh, if you open that up it goes out to the, to the other units the other condos and then you have the dark kitchen sorry about that but I mean, if I leave it in here for a second it'll adjust hopefully maybe not but it's uh, the kitchen there's the cabinets on show you all the cabinets There's the garbage disposal. Come back through the living room. Storage on the left. Bathroom on the right. Straight down the hall, bedroom number two. Come out of bedroom number two. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy here. Out of bedroom number two, and once again, there's your, there's your master with the closet right here on the left. Nice little unit, especially for this price. I did want to show you that there is a, a working elevator. Elevator.